Hey everyone, welcome one more time to one of my videos. Uh, today I have five tips for showcasing uh, selection options inside Blender. And to start off, I want to say right away that I'm a big uh, left mouse button selection user. So uh, if you're downloading Blender right now and if you're a beginner in the software, you notice that if you come down here to user preference, you have uh, the right selection enabled as default. Uh, but it really comes down to preference. Since most of the 3D modeling softwares use the left mouse button as a selection option, I'll be keeping with that. But keep that in mind that every time I select something with the left uh, mouse button here in the tooltip, uh, you can actually be using the right mouse button as selection. So really to start off, um, I see most of the beginner users in Blender when they want to apply a mirror modifier and work in something with a symmetry enable, they, they usually um, delete half of the geometry. So they come here to enable five in the keyboard to go to the orthographic view. Then they press number one. Then they come here into selection square mode, click Z to come into the X-ray vision, right? And then they click Control B to select half of the geometry right here. And then click X and then they click delete. This is the usual workflow that I see lots of people uh, using, but it's not uh, the fastest one. And I will show you why. Uh, if you want to select half of a geometry, you simply uh, can come down here to the verte vertex selection. Um, you can select by here or you can click control tab to bring this menu on your viewport so it's faster. Then you just click on any vertex that is half of the that is in the middle loop of the geometry uh, and then you come here to selection side of active and it will automatically select half of the geometry for you and this is more precise than you go into the orthographic view and so far right so from now here you just can select uh, click x delete faces and apply your mirror modifier as you originally originally wanted so yeah this is the first option another great tip i want to show you related to material selection is when you're working a mesh that have different materials applied of course you can select each part of that mesh that only shares that same material give you an example here you click tab to go to edit mode then you're just working right and then you are applying materials and assigning materials to different parts of the mesh and now you have a really split dynamic topology with different parts that shares the same material but are in the same mesh file so uh, what if you committed something wrong and you want to come back and select just the meshes that share the orange material, for example, here, you can easily, easily click uh, in any face. Then you can click Shift G. Uh, click Shift G is the key, uh, hot key in this case, and it will bring features based on face selection mode. And one of the features of the face selection mode is the select similar material thing. And boom, see now it's selected only the meshes that share the orange material, okay? So in this case, if I select the green material here and I click Shift G and select material, it now will bring me only the uh, gray material selection. So this is a really good tool for um, playing with different materials and also instancing things. But stay aware that this pop-up only shows up when you have the face selection mode enabled. So let's say if you have 
the edge selection mode enable and you click shift G, the features it will bring up, bring you up for selection will be different. The same thing applies for the vertex selection mode. If you come here to vertex selection, you select vertex and you click shift G, you see that the the features it will shows up is way less than the ones that shows up when you have the face selection mode. This is what makes the interface really hidden because it's context based. Uh, it implies that things only appear when you have certain things uh, enabled first and that really can conf confuse people up and especially beginners that are starting with Blender, right? Uh, this next feature you already may know, <clears throat> but uh, I'll showcase in a way is the Ctrl plus and Ctrl minus to grow and shrink selection. Uh, this command in particular uh, is really good for things that you are really neat picky when modeling. And I think that it is not a really good workflow. Why? Because you need to take off your right hand from the mouse and then go to the numpad with your thumb and this can slow down your workflow a little bit so every time you need to shrink or select something uh, you kind of drop down your your hand from, from the mouse and my alternative for that is going to the Control alt u to open the Blender Preferences and um, coming down here to input 3D view mesh and then here we have the select more and uh, select less shortcuts for that right here so uh, you can substitute this uh, hotkey by control uh, wheel up on the mouse and control wheel down so now if we save the changes and go back we can easily uh, control the shrink and uh, selection only with the wheel middle wheel in the mouse button and that really fastens the workflow in a certain way originally uh, those buttons like the control mouse down and control wheel up um, like this uh, they were assigned to the camera for horizontal scroll or vertical scroll and personally I don't use those commands a lot so it makes way more sense to me to those buttons be assigned to that because I'm doing selection work way more than camera work uh, except when rendering when rendering you may want to set up a specific camera angle that may be useful but um, it's up to you, you know, you get the idea. And the last but not least uh, tip I have for you, you already may know, is actually the Alt click for selecting entire edge loop and the Control Alt click to select entire edge rings. And this is really useful for when you are doing like cl mesh cleanups. You can select loops like this and hit. Uh, dissolve edges you know or you can also um, hit Control alt click Control alt shift here or here and click edge collapse and this also works so those are two ways of cleaning up meshes there are specific cases when you want to use the edge select or even the edge ring select and that differs from um, the type of topology that you want to clean up, of course. I'll be bringing more tips um, when I get time to record videos. I hope you guys enjoy this and until next time.